Tenerife is one of the most beautiful islands I have ever been. She is an island so full of different things to explore that one day is not enough. From the beautiful beaches in the south, ghost towns, the volcano Mount Tide, which is the highest mountain above sea level in all of the islands of the Atlantic Ocean, the Spanish villages with all their cute cafes and restaurants, to the amazing hikes in the north of the island. And this is why you should rent a car for the entire time when you are on Tenerife. Today I will show you how and where you can get the cheapest rental car. I will take you with us to the airport south where you find the car pickup and the drop-off zones and I give you some insights on what to look out for when renting a car in Tenerife so that you don't end up spending more money than your original plan. Back in January I had the opportunity to share an Airbnb with two amazing digital nomads. Julian and Nias who also run their own successful online business. We spent four weeks on the Spanish island Tenerife, which is one of the seven Canarian islands in the Atlantic Ocean, just in front of Africa. As a challenge, I decided to create a video every single day and ended up with 46 videos in a row. This series is the best travel vlogs from my time on Tenerife. Get the chips ready, hit subscribe, ding a ding on the bang bang gong, and I'm the only one stupid enough to get lost on this island. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. I'm Daniel and today we will bring back this rental car. Jan is leaving before me so we will make a swap. So I will take a car now. This is the plan for today and maybe see a little bit from the island. We are now at the airport, at the airport south here in Tenerife because Tenerife has two airports. The south one is the big one, the international one and also there's another one in the north. We went to Interrent, so this is this blue thing, the blue signs. Interrent is like the cheapest company, it's also on the far end of the whole parking lot. Okay, we have to change the spot from the car, he has to take the car and bring it to this spot, check in. This guy almost parked the big van under this one here. <laughs> Could have been a crash. So this is the entrance to the airport. Here you can kind of like pick up zone, drop off zone. And if you just walk here, this is where all the rental cars are yeah, parked. Okay, this is what he has at the moment, okay? okay but the most you. important thing, apart from the pictures, well, yeah. is my colleague to sign it and give you a copy, okay? okay? Yeah. Registration number, this is a Renault Clio. Petrol full, you bring it back full and yes. the car at the same and you get this back. Fuck. Can I bring it back earlier? Yeah. Earlier is okay, yep. later that's the problem. No, no, the... <laughs> you too, Gracias. enjoy the rest Buen of dia. your holidays. Yes, thank, thank you really much. Bye -bye. Thank you, bye. bye. Just got the car, we got the keys. This is one of the cheaper brands that you can get a car, a rental car here on the island. Be aware, because we were just seeing on other people in front of us, they always try to give you an extra, which is more money than the thing that you book online. Just always say no, 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 no extras, just the debit. And I had to pay like 1,200. They take that from my credit card, but in the end I get it all back. We need to wait one hour to pick up our new car. Why? You want some papers? Uh, yes, that one. That was the one that you marked. Yeah. It's there, so nothing extra. Yeah, it's good. So I need your signature here, please. It's fine, yeah. 
That's the one. Is there no Cleo? Every time when you got a rental car, you should always take care before you take it and make pictures and look around. So normally the system is like that. They have like a little paper where they note all the marks and problems that the car has. Because if you don't do this and there is some problems like long scratches that were not from you, you have to pay for them. This car is now for two weeks and we paid 140 euros for that two weeks. We will divide it by three people and that's why it's so cheap. You got something? Sure. We found something that is not in the list. Normally you get a paper like this one. They mark the things that are in the car. Here in the back, this one is not there. This is why it's important that you always try to find something else and do it before you start and driving away because now we have all those spots and then we will go back to her and we will show that and they sign it and then everything is fine. Here's but this one. one. That's like a long one. Okay. Let me put it on the system. Oh, so you have a digital system to put this in? Yeah, we put it here. In case that you lose the paper, we have here all the information. It's very good if you do this, they will also send you an email. And on this side there's one more as well. If I come, I try to do the best. That was the main, minor one you said, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, it's but that's on the list. That's already, already yes. Yeah, that's it's already. already. She is doing a really good job. I like her. I want to mark that one. Yeah. Because this, this, this can make bigger than five. Okay. And you have two devices. Yes, let me check. Now I think it's okay. All the new details are oh, circles. Can, can I make yeah. a picture of this one? That's so cool. I like this one. Okay. You see, always take care when you take a rental car because there were now many more things that she put into the system. And also, something that I didn't even notice was she had a different email address in the system from myself. So here the system works like that. Everything new that they put into the system, you will get an email so that you can kind of see the stuff that they put in. But obviously, if they have the wrong information, wrong contact information from me, then they can't send it to me, right? So take care of this. So she was really nice, but I guess also because I had the big camera, they were like, okay, now we do a proper job because obviously this goes on YouTube, right? <laughs> People are not stupid. That's the reason why you have to really take care because you don't want to spend money in the end. You want to have your money back if you haven't done anything wrong. So Julian is now putting in the details we will meet up with another digital nomad today that's the plan and also we want to see a little bit from the island because now the sun came out and it's an amazing day so I don't know what to talk anymore what to do <laughs> We are just turning around because maybe she will still stand there. There was a hitchhiker and I did hitchhiking in my past a couple of times. So I know how the feeling is, especially in Australia. I hitchhiked all the way from Melbourne to Adelaide and it was a really cool trip. I have to make the videos. They are not yet done. Hey, you want to come with us? Uh, we go east. We are now on the Playa de Porres de Abona. I have no idea if I pronounced that correct. Hello. Hello. Geht's dann noch weiter? So we just finished the meetup. Uh, that was very, very nice because we met with a couple, very lovely couple. It's always nice to kind of like connect with the same kind of mindset people, like the open-minded people, the same mindset. You know what I'm talking about, right? I didn't have any breakfast today and we already have like two o'clock. It feels like nine o'clock <laughs> because I wasn't sleeping a lot last night. So the plan is now to go to a supermarket and this is how this looks like here right now. And somewhere here in the back, there should be a ghost town. Next to the lighthouse, there's a lighthouse. In the Second World War, they were building a camp for a sickness. I have no idea if it's called Lepra in, in English as well, but they never really used it. And since that time, it was a ghost town, only used by military. And now it's completely empty. So I think this is definitely worth going there in the future.
Once again, this is a Lidl and we go to the Lidl and I'm lazy, that's why I'm walking here. And the main reason why we go back to Lidl is actually because we have a very high coffee consumption. Intenso coffee, you will see in a second. This is the reason why we came to Lidl. Latte macchiato und intenso. Intenso. 3.15, quarter past three and it's time to eat something. I hope you liked this Tenerife video, if so then check out the other amazing videos that I created from Tenerife. Hit like, subscribe, ding a ding in the bang bang gong and we'll see us in the next video. I'm Daniel, bye. First I tried to find out how I can put this mirror outside. I have no idea. <laughs> Just push it out with your hands. I'm so stupid. <laughs>